They done saw the firstborn killed. They done saw the river part. They done saw Pharaoh's army drown. They done seen God prepare food for them. And you know what they said? We cannot depend on God to get us to the promised land. There's no way he can take us over there and help us defeat the enemy. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And so God said, fine. I'm going to let you walk in the desert for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And your grandchildren, mm -hmm. when they wake, when they finally grow up, they can cross over. Murmur, complain mm -hmm. how God's treating me. I deserve better. I mean, after all, you know, look at me. I mean, my name's special. I'm a special person. Mm -hmm. I should be treated with extra care and extra respect. After all, look at me. Mm -hmm. Now you look warm. Mm -hmm. You look warm. Mm -hmm. That's what the church is doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's all kinds of preaching. And if you ain't getting no preaching out of the out of the Bible studies of nothing else, at least Sunday school, Thursday night, you're not getting nothing out of the Bible. You really don't want anything. You know why? Because you think you're rich. Right. Have need of nothing. I don't need nothing. But in reality, you look warm. Amen. When you look warm, you just don't care anymore. You don't care about the church anymore. Amen. You're not going to do your best for the church. Mm. You're not going to do it. Mm. When you look warm, you're satisfied. Mm. I'm satisfied the way the church is right now. Yes, it's just us, but that's all we need. We don't need no more. Mm. We're happy. Mm. We're happy the way things are right now. Mm. Happy, happy, happy. Mm. Mm. We don't want no more God. Mm. Mm. We don't want no more people. I don't want to do anything. Mm. God forbid we get some people in here and I'd have to actually maybe do something. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they're rich, blind. Mm -hmm. In reality, they're blind and naked, lukewarm. Mm -hmm. They're satisfied. They have no desire to get closer to God. Mm -hmm. I want to get closer to God. What do I want to get closer to God for? Mm -hmm. I'm as close as I need to get. Mm -hmm. I don't need Him talking to me. If he talks to me, He might tell me something to do. You know why God don't talk to you now? You won't do it. Right. Why would he speak to you if he ain't going to do anything? Right. Amen. Amen. I don't want to get involved in church. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get time in church. Why? Mm -hmm. You look warm. Mm -hmm. You look warm. When you look warm, hey man, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. Read your Bible, no big thing. If I do it, I do it. If I don't, I don't. Praying, same thing. It don't matter. If I do it, if I do it, it don't matter. Witnessing. I, you know, I, I'm just not going to do it anymore. Too much time consuming things. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. When's the last time you invited somebody to come to this church? Mm -hmm. When's the last time you prayed for this church? Mm -hmm. Have you ever done that? Yes. Have you ever asked God to help this church? Amen. Amen. <laughs> when you get lukewarm, your testimony is no longer important. Mm -hmm. You don't care what people think about you anymore. It don't matter. It don't matter. Amen. You're going to spend your time the way you want to spend your time. You're going to put on whatever clothes you want to wear. Amen. All you care about is yourself. That's when you're lukewarm. You couldn't discern God's voice. Amen. If you had a bullhorn and put it up to your ear. Hello. Hello. That's not hard to hear. If you really want to get close to him. Amen. Amen. When you look warm, you just don't want to obey. You don't want to obey nobody. Mm. I don't want to do nothing. Mm. Amen. Lukewarm Christian, mm. you don't want to hear from God. Mm. So what does the book say to do? Mm. Verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold. Mm. Tried in the fire. Thou mayest be rich. I like the word rich. White garment, thou may be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Anoint thine eyes, thou Simon, that thou may see us. You need medicine for your eyes. You need to be rich so that you can buy clothes. Spiritually, 
spiritual gold is not cheap. It's got to be tried in the fire. You got to go through the fire. Amen. I remember one time I was wanting to get close to God, and there were several preachers that were there. There was one preacher, his wife, she was just nuts, Looney Tunes. And uh, I'm mean, just playing Looney Tunes. And the devil would say, do you really want to become like him, have the power of God on you? He said, look what he's having to put up with. I mean, his wife was just playing the Looney Tunes. His first wife was just crazy. She tried to kill him a couple times. I mean, he'd have to take her to psychiatrist, have her, you know, committed. Then I saw another preacher. His wife had lost all her fingers and her, and her legs and, and uh, couldn't walk. I know another man that was a soul winner, was winning souls left and right, had the power of God on his life. He wasn't a preacher, but he was a soul winner. He won souls to God. He talked to people. Everywhere he went, he talked to somebody. People would come to church because of him. For the longest, he was a soul winner. And he had a heart attack, a stroke, couldn't move, reclined to a wheelchair. And the devil said, do you really want to be like these guys here? Like the preacher that has his son in prison, do you really want to be like this? I said, yeah. If I got to go through the fire, let's just go through the fire. Mm -hmm. You want the power of God on your life? You have to go to the fire. Most lukewarm Christians say, Ooh, I want something. Not me. Mm -hmm. I don't want no fire, man. Unless it's over a stake. Other than that, I don't want no fire. Mm -hmm. I don't need no fire. I'm happy the way I am. Well, that's because you're lukewarm. You're blind. You're naked. You don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. You got to buy gold. Spiritual gold, if you're going to have clothes on. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be spiritually rich, amen, rich. Right. Rich means that, you know, rich people, right. you know, they got attitude, amen. Yeah. You ever know something about rich people? They got attitude. Yeah. When you're spiritually rich, you got an attitude. Nobody likes it, amen. Uh, especially those that ain't got nothing, amen. Oh, oh why are you so rich, amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Ask the Lord, Lord, I want some gold, amen. I want some spiritual gold that's been tried in the fire. If that means I got to go through the fire to be rich, spiritually rich, that's what I want. Amen. amen. Why? Amen. I don't want to go around around naked. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want clothes on. Amen. I want some clothes. Mm -hmm. Shame. Mm -hmm. Used to be a lady would bend over, she would cover herself. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Amen. Because she was ashamed. She right. want nobody saying hey, amen. Right. Hey, hey, amen. Amen. Right. Nowadays, you know, mm -hmm. there ain't no shame anymore. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have you ever, ever been to the store and you notice that they get everything's got a price on? Mm -hmm. Go to the grocery store, go to the clothes store, wherever, watch store, and you notice everything has a price. Every once in a while they might have a free sample, you know, have a free sample of juice or a free sample of some cheese or something, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you want to buy the whole thing, it's got a price. Mm -hmm. You gotta have money to buy it. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing here. Amen. You gotta have money, spiritual money, mm -hmm. spiritual gold to be able to buy spiritual gifts. Amen. Mm -hmm. You wanna buy something for yourself? You wanna buy yourself mm -hmm. some white raiment? Amen. Well, you're gonna have to have some gold, spiritual gold. Right. Amen. You wanna buy some cream for your eyes so that you can see better? Amen. He said the church is blind. They can't even tell that they're naked. Mm -hmm. They look in the mirror and they go, well, I really can't say anything, but I guess I look good. You know? Always look good. <laughs> no, you, you're naked. You're just plain naked. Amen. I mean, there's God looking down from heaven at you. Does he see you clothed? Or does he see you plain naked and blind? I can't see nothing. I can't touch it. You know, and sodomized last week I preached about, they were over there groping around because right. they were blind. Right. That's the way you are with your spiritual condition. Mm -hmm. If you're lukewarm, you're running around blind. Mm -hmm. Don't even know where you're going. Mm -hmm. 
mind Christian and think, well, I'm doing pretty good. I don't need to change. Mm -hmm. God says, buy some gold. Buy some gold. Get spiritually rich. Amen. Get spiritually clothed. Mm -hmm. Get your eyes spiritually open. Yeah. The problem is, when you don't have spiritual eyes, you don't see people the way they are. As a man we've known for years, he got under conviction at my mom's funeral. He said, I, you know, and uh, I invited him to church. He came over on Friday. He was looking at our books, and I said, well, you know, come see me. He just walked away. My brother said, you need to come. You need to come. Come. We'll hear my brother. And he just walked away. He said, well, you can come see me. He knew what I was talking about. He knew I knew his spiritual condition. He knew I, I, I knew he needed to get saved. I'm telling you, when, you're, when you don't have spiritual life, you just don't give a flip. Who cares? They go to hell, they go to hell. My friends got to go to hell. So what? We're at the beach having a good time. One of them drown. Oh, well, I guess you're in hell now. <laughs> but you're a very caring person. You care for them a whole lot. As many as I love, I rebuke and chase and be zealous, therefore, and repent. Notice what the God is telling the church, the Laodicean in church. He said, you're lukewarm. He said, I'm giving you a chance. I love you. He says, I love you, church. I love my people that have been born again and saved. He said, I love you so much, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to rebuke you right to your face and tell you. Hey, man, you ain't right. I mean, you are spiritually naked and blind. And you just don't care. Mm. He said, I'm going to rebuke you, and then guess what? I'm going to chastise you. You know what chastise means? Mm. That means God take out the 